one. Well, other than a lot of wind the last couple days, it's been pretty quiet as far as thunderstorms go the last few days, and that's going to be changing later this week. We're going to be quiet on Wednesday, quiet on Thursday, but Thursday night after midnight, we'll have a chance of thunderstorms. There might be some hail with those, and then Friday is the day we're really watching closely because there'll be a chance of storms in the morning early, and then again, redevelopment in the afternoon and evening. So watching for, again, all types of severe weather. Things get going on Thursday, mainly in Kansas and Oklahoma, they will lift our way then weaken, so I don't expect a whole lot Thursday night, but then Friday is when our turn comes up for especially southern Iowa. I think it's going to be especially the southern half that has the best chance for severe weather and maybe western Iowa down into Kansas City area, and then it will probably shrink a little bit on Saturday down to our south. We take a break Saturday, but then Sunday there'll be a chance of thunderstorms mainly in eastern Iowa. We could have some strong storms but hopefully the severe weather doesn't affect us. Here's a breakdown of what's happening. Again, pretty quiet. Wednesday is going to be sunny. Thursday is going to be partly cloudy. Then Thursday night, that first wave of showers and thunderstorms comes in. That'll be late in the uh, in the uh, evening hours, overnight hours. Friday, we get redevelopment. There's the low right here, and we'll see redevelopment in the afternoon. Thunderstorms going through. That first low goes through, and then another one comes in as we go through the weekend. So we'll have another round of thunderstorms here going into Sunday. Sunday. You can see that low spinning up through the area. Now the good news is with all these thunderstorms and showers, we will have decent amount of rainfall. Some areas certainly could get more than two inches of rainfall before the weekend is over. But for your Wednesday, it looks mostly sunny out there. Temperature near 66. We will start Wednesday on a cool side though near 40 degrees, so a chilly start to the day, but it will be a day without wind for a change. We've had so much wind out there. Here's your 10 day forecast and temperatures back into the low 70s. Saturday kind of spikes because we'll probably have enough sunshine and it'll be dry during most of the day, so we'll warm up before those thunderstorms develop later in the afternoon and evening hours. Sunday looks kind of like a stormy day, then it cools off, dries out for Monday, and then look at next week. It's a summer pattern developing with temperatures expected to be close to 80 degrees.